Hi, it's Dr. Donna. Welcome to week 43. Last week, we read an amazing book, Get Out of Your Own Way. Whoo, that's hard to do, but it takes a big woman and a big man to look within. And that is what this book challenged us to do. Look at all the things that you're doing. What are you doing that's causing you to not be able to have everything that you want in your lifetime? The number one thing that I used to do, and it popped me in my head, boy, did it hurt? Holding a grudge. Mm -hmm. I was good for holding a grudge. And unfortunately, it was a characteristic that I picked up from my grandfather. Woo! You cross me back in the day, woe be unto you when our paths met again. Oof, it wasn't nothing nice. You would run in the DD from the D and just get out of the way. Since then, I have woosad and understood that when you hold a grudge, the only person that it's actually hurting and affecting is you. This book is filled with many, many, many self-defeating behaviors. And for those of you, two people actually sent me an email. Thank you for sharing the ones that resonated the most with you. If you haven't read the book, I tell you that it's something that you want to pass along, especially if you have that family member or that staff member or that business partner or that life partner that really is just killing themselves because they're in their way. Give them a copy of the book. This week's TED Talk was all about learning how to be awesome, especially in leadership. The speaker gave us a three-step system to use in order to be awesome at anything. What are those three steps? Number one, know thyself. To thine own self be true. Know who you are because once you know who you are, then you can change for the better. Step two, once you have identified three to five things that you'd like to work on, don't try to work on them all at once. If you try to work on them all at once and you attempt to do this, what's gonna happen is you're gonna fail miserably at all of them and then you're gonna think you're sucky. So don't do that. Pick one, pick the one thing that you know that's gonna make you look like a superhero and a superstar and then get that one under control. And what is step three? Step three is the part where a lot of people, they miss the mark. What do they do? They don't practice every single day. Step three is you gotta practice every single day. I tell my daughter all the time, how you do anything is how you do everything. You can't miss it. When you're working on becoming awesome at something, it is a daily, daily, daily grind. And as I like to say, if you stay ready, then you don't have to get ready. And in order to do that, it's daily practice. What book do we have this week? Yes or no? the decision-making process that we all experience on a daily basis. How do we make those good decisions by saying yes? And how do we say no to those decisions that are gonna cause us some pain and agony and emotional duress and everything else down the line? This week's TED Talk is something that I think everybody that speaks is gonna wanna know how to do. How to speak so that people will want to listen. For those of you who are just now joining us, believe it or not, even though we're in week 43, you still have time to click that link below and join us and be better than average. When you can see it and you can read it, then you most certainly can believe it and achieve it. From here to the galaxy sphere. I'll see you guys next week. Au revoir.